and it hit here about quarter past nine in the morning. It was dark, it was really dark. Um, we couldn't see any flames because just because of the amount of smoke that was coming towards us. And the first thing we noticed was big spot fire on either side of our property. Mm. It was scary, but we didn't have time to think. We just had to act. We'd planned that um, for the worst scenario that no one was going to come. And unfortunately, that was what eventuated. That was the case, yeah. There was no resources that could have defended mm -hmm. any of the properties along here. Once the fire front had come through and we were starting to put out whatever um, we could, we noticed then the shed, uh, which was an old uh, zinc loom shed, it was on fire. Not only did we have to defend the house from the original fire, we then had to defend the house from the shed. Pretty much everything had been destroyed other than the house. We were, we were able to save the house. It was just total shock. Everyone was traumatised in some way. So we started to do some research. Uh, requirement was that it looked nice. We were after an attractive shed. To make it look good, we added the eaves. Mm. Uh, we got to choose the colours we wanted and we think we came up with a really nice looking shed. The different roof line made it way less boxy. You only have to go inside and, and um, see the support structures and mm. that there. It's just so well built mm. and the quality is fantastic. It was important that um, we found a shed that was more secure in the way it was built. And this particular design, the, the colour bond comes down below the edge of the concrete. So it's quite a thick concrete slab and the colour bond comes down low. We feel that that is more fire secure. We didn't want to compromise with this shed at all, mm -hmm. so that's why we went with widespan. Yeah, that's right. 